Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use multiple elements with a CSS class. Classes allow you to use the same CSS styles on multiple HTML elements. And you can see this by applying your red text class to the P, first P element. Okay, great. So what they're trying to get us to do is use this class text on this first P element, which means here. And so they basically want it to turn red. The way that we do this, we just write in class is equal to uh, red text, and then boom, this is gonna turn red. Okay, and that's basically it. In the last video, we went over this in a little bit more detail. We could also even add this down here if we wanted the catnip to turn red, we could turn this one. And you can see that these class elements are reusable. We're going to make the word thunder turn red, like that, boom. Um, obviously, this isn't what they wanted. They say that um, your H2 element should be red, your H2 element should have the class, your P element should be red, and the second and third elements should not be red. Meaning, um, let's see, the f this is the first P element, this is the... Oh, I don't even see where the second and third P elements. I think basically they just want you to know that the whole thing hasn't turned red. But I just wanted to show you that you can turn these red um, just by using the class over and over again. But we don't need to do that because the instructions just say do this element and this element red. And so we hit start, run tests, and we're there. All right, um, please like and subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with people. Um, that's the best way to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.